Okay, you've just bought a brand new watch and it's got a stiff leather strap. How do you soften it up? Well, you could either wear it for two to three months constantly or you could use the life hacks in this episode with things you have laying around the house. Now, time's a ticking, so let's get stuck in. Hey everyone, Matt Johnson here. I'm your host of my YouTube channel, Beer and Watchers, where every Monday, Wednesday and Friday, I bring you the very best in watch news, watch reviews and craft beer brews. Now today is Monday and I hope you all had a great weekend. To all my loyal subscribers and followers, thanks for tuning in again. And if you're brand new to this channel, well, why don't you join the party? How do you do that? Well, you click on the subscribe button over there to the bottom right of the screen. And if you've never clicked on a subscribe button before, it's completely free, doesn't cost you anything. Just roll your mouse over it, click subscribe, and then you'll become a part of my family. Now on today's episode, we're going to be looking at leather watch straps. Now here's the thing, when you get a brand new watch, Watch, it's kind of like getting a brand new pair of shoes or a brand new leather belt. The shoes are going to cause blisters on your feet, it's going to cut into your ankles, the leather belt's not going to be comfortable to wear around your waist. And it's the same with a leather watch strap. When you first put it on, it feels uncomfortable on the wrist and you have to keep wearing it and wearing it in order for that leather to soften up in the watch. There's got to be an easier way, right? Well, there is. On today's episode, I'm going to bring you a few life hacks with things you already have laying around the house to soften up the leather strap. I mean, after all, you could buy expensive leather conditioners or saddle soap, but why do that if you've got things laying around the house that you can use right now to soften that leather strap? I'm going to show you my three-part, is it three-part, two-part? No, three-part process. It works for me and I think it will work for you. Now, before we get into this episode and showing you those life hacks, the beer I'm drinking today is the lager from Old Milwaukee. This one is a refreshing, dry American lager owned by the Pabst Brewing Company. They've been around since the 1800s. It's 4.9%. It's very refreshing. It's also very affordable and one of my favorite go-to beers if I don't, quite frankly, want to spend a lot of money. Now, normally I pour this in a glass, but I thought today we'd just crack the can. And we give it a taste test. Oh, that goes down so good. It's refreshing, it's dry, it's easy drinking. If you're an ale drinker or a stout drinker, it's not for you. But if you're a lager drinker, this hits the spot. And if you haven't tried it yet, it's super cheap, super affordable. So go to your local liquor store and give it a try. Old Milwaukee. What? They don't sponsor the channel or anything like that. Let's get into how you can soften up your leather watch strap. There's a couple of ways I do this. We're going to do it in my three-step process. Now, first of all, what I do is I break the leather. I mean, after all, the leather's got to keep moving, right? You have never seen a cow that is stiff. No, it's true. Those cows are walking around the field, they're eating grass, they're constantly moving, right? And that is what keeps the leather supple. The other thing that keeps the leather supple is the moisture in the leather. Well, when you've got a leather watch band, obviously, mm, it's a deceased cow. So what you got to do is put some movement back into the leather, break in the leather, and also put some moisture back in the leather. Now, there are different ways to put moisture into a leather strap. You can buy saddle soaps to clean the strap. You can buy leather moisturizers. But all of these things, quite frankly, are going to cost you a lot of money and in my opinion are completely over the top. What you want to do first of all is break in the leather and break the fibers of the leather up. In order to do that what you want to do first of all is you want to break the spine of the leather. So what I like to do is bend the leather in half like this and kind of press in that crease. Now don't worry too much at this point about cracking the leather because we're going to be putting some moisture back in there to help with the cracks. Now this one I've already pre-softened so it's actually bending really easily. So for you on a brand new strap, bend your leather strap and don't be afraid to put in pressure with the fingers and really break in that leather. You want to do this at various points. Once you've done this side you also do the other side and again don't be afraid to apply pressure and really, really crease that leather strap. As I say, what that's going to do is it's going to break up the fibers of the leather. So once you've done that, you are then going to hold the strap on both ends and twist it like this. Hold and then twist in the opposite direction and hold. Once you've done this, you can kind of work the strap. It's already begun to soften up the leather. Once I've done that, we move on to stage number two. Now in stage number two, what you want to do is use your household dryer. So you're going to take the leather strap off 
the watch, okay? Now, this is not always easy to do. Now, I personally have a watch strap removal tool that pushes the pins out in the leather strap because after all, you have to get to those pins inside. Now, if you don't have one of these tools, and this actually came in my watch repair kit that I got for $20 on Amazon, and if you haven't seen that, I did a review of it, and you can check it out right here. I'll also put that link in the description below this video. But if you don't have one of these tools, what you need is some flat metal object in order to pry off the watch strap. Now, in order to get to the pin inside, you have to apply some pressure to the bottom of the watch strap with the finger like this. And by applying that pressure to the bottom of the watch strap, that opens up a gap so that you can see the pin inside. Then you want to use any flat object. Now, make sure you're not using a sharp object like a knife or scissors, because if you slip, well, you're going to cut your finger. And that would suck. So I use something like a bottle opener or something like that, and I get it inside between the watch strap and the lugs and I just apply pressure which pops off the strap. It's as simple as that. So be very careful when you're doing that, especially again, if you're using a sharp object. Once you've got your two straps off, you're gonna put them in the dryer. Now you don't just wanna put them in the dryer because these things are gonna bang around in there and can hurt the inside of your dryer drum. Also, if the two watch straps are kind of rubbing and banging together in the dryer, that's going to put too much wear and tear on the strap. What you wanna do is take the watch straps and put them into a sock. Now, make sure before you put them into the sock that you remove the pins from the watch strap because after all, we don't want these bad boys getting lost. So remove the two pins and then place your two watch straps into your sock and then tie the sock in a loose knot. You then put the sock with the watch straps inside into your dryer. You put it onto a medium setting, and now here's the important part, you have to put it on more dry. And I'll tell you why, because if you start your dryer with a dry sock in there, with dry watch bands in there, within a few minutes, it's gonna turn off, because it will sense that the sock is actually dry. So if you put it on more dry, it will keep on going, even though the sock is dry, because he wants to dry it more right? You don't want to put this on high setting because it's going to apply too much heat to the strap. And you want to put it in your dryer for about 15 minutes. And because you've already broken the leather, the heat from the dryer is going to apply into the watch strap, into the fibers that you've broken, and it's going to soften up that leather really, really quickly. Now, once you've done 15 minutes, uh, take the sock out, open it up, take out the watch straps, and give them a, a little push backwards and forwards. Make sure that they're getting pliable, malleable, and soft. If you feel like it needs more work, bang it back in the dryer, in the sock, and give it some more time. Once you've done that, you are then going to move on to stage number three. And this is the important part for softening the leather, and also making sure you're applying something so that the leather won't crack. What you're going to need is not an expensive moisturizer or an expensive watch leather softener. All you're going to need is everyday household Vaseline that we all have at home. You're also going to need a cloth or some tissue to use to apply the Vaseline. Now, the Vaseline applied to the leather is going to do a couple of things. First of all, the Vaseline is going to sink into the leather and soften it, applying that much needed moisture that the leather loses once it's, well, once the cows and also it's going to stop the leather from cracking over time. You are going to take a little bit of Vaseline on a towel and you're going to work that into the leather, both on the front side and the back side. Now, when you're first working into the leather, it will discolor, especially the inside of the leather, or if you've got like a new buck or a, a cream looking leather, it's gonna add some moisture to it, so it's going to get darker. But don't worry, because once the uh, Vaseline gets absorbed into the leather that will then go back to its regular color and then once you've done that you're going to lay these straps aside and leave them for a couple of days I would say about 24 hours to two days what's going to happen over that time is the Vaseline is going to get absorbed into the leather and it's going to add that moisture and it's also going to prevent the leather from cracking now you should find after a couple of days that the watch strap will appear dry because all of that Vaseline has been absorbed however if you added too much Vaseline then what you want to do after a couple of days is just wipe wipe off the excess Vaseline on the strap and you are good to go. You then finally need to reattach the strap 
to the watch. Now, if you have a watch tool like this, that's very easy to do. However, you probably don't. So I'm gonna show you the easiest way to put a watch strap back on the watch. Now, obviously there are different ways. You might have a quick uh, release pin on here, in which case this doesn't apply. However, if it's just a spring pin like this, what you want to do is these steps to make it easy to put back in your watch, all right? So first of all, push your spring bar back in there and then take a hold of your watch. Now, what you wanna do is put the first end into a hole on one side of the watch like this so that it's actually engaged and in order to do this if you've got a loose pin as this is where it's kind of pushing through the strap there very easily put your finger on top so it doesn't move and just put that into the bottom of the watch. You are then going to put the pin on top of the lug here, and this is the key to getting it back in without the use of special watch tools. Put your nail on the end of the pin and push that pin in, and it's spring-loaded. Now, if you're doing this from the side here, it's gonna be very difficult to feed that into the lug, but if you're doing it from above and you kinda move this pin over, so angle it into the watch dial a little bit, we're just trying to work that in there gently we're pushing down and there it's inside and once it's inside you gently move it back and forth until it engages into the hole in the lug and that's it that's how to easily put your watch strap back onto your watch when you've got spring bars like that and you don't have watch tools. All right, so that's it guys and girls. That's how I soften the leather on brand new leather watch straps. Very easy three part process. Part number one, break in the leather strap. Part number two, put the strap in the dryer for about 15 minutes on medium heat. And part number three, apply some Vaseline with a damp cloth, a soft damp cloth to the strap and let it dry for two days. And that's it. Once you've done that, you will find that you've taken your leather watch strap from stiff to awesome and soft in just a couple of days. It beats having to wear it for like two, three months constantly and it feeling uncomfortable on the wrist. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Beer and Watches. I've got my old Milwaukee. I'm going to sit back now, kick back, relax and enjoy this. Please do leave me a thumbs up and also leave a comment in the comments section below. And don't forget, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click on that subscribe link over there to the bottom right of the screen or under this video if you're on your mobile device. As always, if you haven't seen it yet, click on this video right here. That's a good one. And click on the Beer and Watchers logo right there to subscribe. Take care. Enjoy your week. We'll see you again on Wednesday. Cheers and bye for now. Yeah.